Good evening. Today we're going to do a bit of exploring along the Northern Line. I'm looking for some relics. Now if you know your history, you know that the Northern Line, or at least the bank branch of it, is the oldest deep level underground line in London. Not the first underground line altogether, nor the first deep level railway, but the oldest one still in service. It was opened in 1890 as the City and South London Railway. Originally, it ran from Stockwell to King William Street. As you're no doubt aware, there is no King William Street station. That's because the City and South London weren't content with the City and South London. They wanted to extend north. The only way they could do this was to abandon King William Street, build a new station at Bank, and head up north to the distant climbs of Moorgate and Islington. They also took advantage of the new route to meet the main line at London Bridge. Nothing of old King William Street is visible above the ground, but the tunnels are still in situ. However, weirdly enough, they don't let minor YouTubers just go down whenever they feel like it. But if you're curious, there is this plaque to mark the site of the old station. If you follow the line from Bank to Moorgate, take a look at the Moorgate Station building. See that there? That's original city in South London railway, that is. Here we go, up past Old Street. up the city road. There used to be a station right here in fact, but it's no longer visible. That ventilation shaft marks the site. Might do a video on this station in particular if that's a thing that would interest you folks, let me know in the comments section. And here we are at Angel. Now let's go down into Angel Tube Station which famously has the longest escalator on the underground. I'd like you to take a look at this platform, which, being both observant and attractive, you will note is unusually wide. Almost wide enough to hold two platforms, you might think. And you'd be right. You see, the city in South London was very different from the modern Northern Line. The tunnels were smaller, the trains were shorter, and the passenger numbers were considerably lower than today. The original station at Angel was built around an island platform, with a line on each side. But as passenger numbers increased, the island platform eventually proved inadequate, so the northbound line was rerouted through a new tunnel, and the old line was filled in. So that's why Angel has such an insanely wide platform today. If you want to see what the old stations looked like for yourself, you need to go south, to Clapham North. South to North, that's confusing. Anyway, here you can see one of the old style island platforms, along with some rather nice station details. One stop south and you can see the same thing again. Personally, I prefer Clapham Common because it has this delightful station building dating from 1926. I mean, look at this sign, isn't it gorgeous? The last relic I'd like to show you, for today at least, is the station building at Kennington, which, in my opinion at least, is absolutely magnificent. While the station has been reconstructed below ground, the building above remains largely unaltered since its opening in 1890. Most of the old stations have been rebuilt and only Kennington retains its original design. This dome is not only magnificent, but it actually serves a practical purpose. It holds the machinery for the lifts. At the time of filming, further construction is taking place beneath the surface to enable the Northern Line's southward extension to Battersea. Of all the underground lines, the city in South London has probably been hit hardest by the need for modernisation, requiring total rebuilding to keep up with the pace of change. But that doesn't alter the fact that it was a pioneering railway that provided the template for every other tube line in London, and indeed the world. If they got things wrong in the long term, that's only because they were the first to try. And for that, I think you've got to give them credit. Hello, hello. 
Thanks for watching this progressive episode of Tales from the Tube. If you liked it, let me know by means of the like button, and if you want more, then might I suggest that Sir or Madam hits the subscribe button. See you next time for another Tale from the Tube. Cheerio!